So we got arrested the same day. Oh, Michelle, I ain't gonna lie. I was in jail. We didn't get arrested the same day, did we? Oh, yes, cause I heard about did. one of my friends, my best friend, they told me about you getting arrested, but they just gave me like the quick version. Like you got a DUI and you crashed your Jeep somehow and your boyfriend had to bail you out and you were moving to Mississippi. That's what I got to update. Uh, Is that all? Still moving? Um, Maybe it was Alabama I'm, or something. Yeah, I'm not giving anybody locations, but yeah. Yeah, I'm don't moving. do that. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to bait you. I just am telling you what I heard while I was in jail. They said you crashed your car, Again. which is, you know, at um, least you were okay. Were you in your driveway is what I heard. Yeah, so I missed a deer and I hit a tree and I tittled at my Jeep, but I got another Jeep. I heard that part. Good hustle. Good job there. Got a guy that helped you get another Jeep, a better one. You got to do what you got to do. Same, but it's just newer. Oh, that helps. You kind of like got a little bit of an upgrade. What's up, PLE? What's up, everybody in but chat? Anyway, Michelle? How are you? I don't want to make it about me. How are you? Uh, thank you. Stint? Thank you. I'm okay. I'm hanging out. Ate so a bunch Jersey of junk court is coming to my court date now. I heard about that also. I heard he said he's coming to your court date. But are you even going to be there? Do you have to even go to court for a DUI misdemeanor? It's a misdemeanor. Yeah. What are you you gotta physically go to court house for that? What about like corona precautions and whatnot? No, there's no corona precautions. Michelle, they asked they thought I had corona. They gave me a test where they jab you in the nose with a Q tip. And oh, I never had sucks. I never had corona, never took the vaccine. Me, me neither. Good for you. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm anti vax. What do you anticipate happening when you go to court outside of like a midget leprechaun looking at you funny? Hey, well, there's like a whole bunch of people coming to my court date. Ooh, ooh, ooh. big shot Michelle over here, huh? Who Lucy's else is coming? coming? Who's coming? Who? Gish? Lucy. Lucy. Who in the hell is Lucy? I'm just remember kidding. I remember. The person that I said looked like a man on your show. Of, of course. Who could forget Lucy? That's yeah, that's Lucy's pretty interesting. Coming, tragic's coming. Beezer's coming. Uh, Damn, they're really gonna well, do. There's now a Taylor Love channel, but the channel went away. Are they gonna uh, what you would call a boycott for you or whatever? Like protest you? They kind of he tried to protest me. You think yeah, he might have a chance now? Yeah, there's gonna be surprises though. Michelle, you need me to come there and get your back. Is that the surprise? You need you yeah, do, maybe you, come on in town. Come come to your court date and be like us against them. That would be funny. Yeah, when are you gonna I come gotta, visit, by the way? This, I'm getting ready to come right now. You're in Georgia, right? Is you still at your house? Yeah, I'm gonna come hang out. I'm about to go on a road trip. I'm not even gonna wait to get my car tagged because you only live once. YOLO. You know what I mean? YOLO. Yeah, when are you <laughs> coming to visit? Like now you have no excuse. Fourteen hours, right? How far away is Tulsa? Driving? I think it's thirteen. 13 hours, so one one long day or two easy peasy days in the Cadillac. Come on down. And we're live. You're so let me talk. Contestant on the price is right. Where at? On the casinos? Where do they go? What are you talking about? We're the next contestant on the price is right. Yeah, you want to go? Come on down. You're the next. Come on down. I mean, really. Come okay. <laughs> I'm lost. I got you now. Sorry. I'm high. The weed is hitting me extra hard right now. Oh, uh, you're definitely, funny. Definitely come down to visit. It would be fun. So you're not in imminent d danger of being relocated? Like you never got evicted, obviously. That's like a two-year-long saga so, so far now. Do I? That saga has been going on for two years now almost. So you getting evicted saga. I know. When I did know. you first start coming on Molly Go Lightly show? It was in the end of 21, right? Like November? Uh, yeah, I think or twenty two of twenty twenty one. Oh, June of twenty twenty one. Wow, so it's been over a year, year and a half. Yeah, I know, and I, I'm. You never got evicted. I'm not to have electric. You know all that stuff. Can I ask you a question though? I heard I don't want to uh, give us no bad energy because we're having fun here. But uh, somebody told me that you said something that happened to one of your dogs. Is there any truth to that? Are you both your dogs healthy, Jake and Lola? They are. They're good. Okay. Yeah, Somebody told me, so I'm going to... I out of town for like a week, and I left the door open, 
and Jake dug out of my backyard. I had a dog sitter. And you um, did okay. Yeah, and so I was like, Yeah, Jake's dead. Dead to the world. Oh because, yeah, he's so fat. He was sleeping on the sofa. And I'm like, I heard the he's joke. Dead. He's dead to the world because he's all passed out. Michelle. Right now. You got somebody's goad with that joke. I will never tell you who it was, but somebody thought that you were in poor taste lying about your dog dying and you made it look like if they clicked an email or something that they're Every, might... everything I say is in poor taste. <laughs> That's like your charming your charming factor, huh? What's the give me the update on you got a guy living there? He's gonna be okay with me coming through. I don't have a guy living here. Okay, I was just asking. Maybe you got one of your handyman's moved in, some big strapping twenty seven year old brown haired, blue eyed Hispanic gentleman that uh no, no guy. A Chat, brown haired, blue eyed Hispanic gentleman, no. I said that because I met one, Michelle. I met a dude in jail this last time that was from South America, the uh Peru he was, and he had blonde hair, blonder than mine is now, blue eyes. In dark brown, like Spanish color skin, not black, but like really dark brown, blue eyes and blonde hair. He looked like a damn one of those old trolls with a neon head of hair that you could. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. No, both dogs are fine. As a matter of fact, you were live yesterday, but I just caught a replay. And Jake was like, rrr, 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 rrr. I'm like, yeah, it's ski, it's ski's voice. <laughs> Somebody said you had a power couple situation going on with you and, and another gentleman. Well, who who is that guy? Did you have a little fling that happened for over the three months or something? I was in jail. You missed me and couldn't wait. I couldn't wait on you. I just couldn't wait. It's but okay, you know you baby. Have my heart, darling. Yeah, it's okay. I know you were thinking about me. I was. I still haven't, you... I haven't had sex still, though. Oh, wow. Nice. I'm me either, Michelle, believe it or not. Darling. You know, no I jail sex for me. That. Everybody said I just I'm obsessed with you. Well, so there's no guy though, because I'm positive I got intel that you have a guy, a guy, which is totally cool with me. I don't, I don't even have to talk to the dude. I want to bring my girlfriend over, anyways. But uh, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so you have a girlfriend. Oh, they're saying your dude is a married with kids and a loser. Sorry. I don't have a girlfriend, yeah, though. So I have lots of friends. That I was dating a guy that's married with seven kids. <laughs> it's a lot of kids. Seven. Did they live with, did they live with him, or did, was it with seven different baby yeah. mamas? I think he has, like, ten different baby mamas, but seven kids. I don't know. You know how but, these rumors go. Okay. But none of those kids live with him now? He's a single guy? I wasn't dating anyone. I was dating someone briefly, but they just made um, up a guy. I decided he, I didn't want to date him, but yeah, I had his BMW for a while. Oh, uh, that's okay. See, it's all about having fun and, and meeting new people. Huh? I said that's okay. There's nothing wrong with having fun and meeting new people. But apparently, he was married with seven kids. It's cold out where I am. Is it nice no, there? He was divorced for like five years. Oh, that's okay. I don't yeah, want to talk about him, divorced. baby. I want to talk about you and me. Let's talk about S E X. Let's talk about all the good things, all the bad the things. Bad if things. we met, <laughs> Mr. Fudge was his name. <laughs> no, Mr. Probably Fudge? Not. No. Yeah. They they're laughing because you wasn't dating. You, know what you his were name dating. Was actually. Uh uh. David. <laughs> Michelle. Dave, David, the good name. Was yeah, he a was, was he a David. service How man? Was he one of those uh, army guys or whatever officers, like in the army, the military? No. Oh, you took a break away from that type for a, a while. Took a break from that. Yeah. Yeah. The I last... don't know. I was talking to like two people. Two. Oh my God. Oh my God! I was talking to player him. over here, Miss huh? Player, player, big player, player over here. Oh yeah, I know, big player. <laughs> one of them. Now you look. The, one of them was in the military. What you look like you've been taking care of yourself. You don't have uh, no black toe or no crazy situation like that at the moment. Not healthy as a horse. 
good deal. So what are you doing? Are you like staying somewhere or? I'm at, I'm at a, a place right now just hanging out. I'll probably stay the night here. And then uh, I was going to try and get my car tagged, but it's going to cost probably like $700. So I'm just going to drive it to a different state and get a driver's okay. license in, a, in an apartment, like an Airbnb, and have mail and get a license and establish a new home base. Maybe in Georgia somewhere, like maybe just like a quarter mile from you, I'll get like a little apartment. And we can stream together. And then when we're tired of each other, I'll just I'll leave and go over there to the other studio. <laughs> Come on, dance. What's okay? So that's what I, I'm going to plan. I'm going to put you on the what you call it. So I'm moving now. You're choosing to move? Are you selling your house or just taking a vacation? Right. Oh, tell me more, please. That's interesting. Maybe I got to hurry up and come now. Yeah, I'm putting the house on the market. Um, probably May, February. What's that's like in two days, right? <laughs> Did you say May, the end of February? February? Oh, okay. But yeah, so I'm relocating. Thank you, North Texas. Well, do you have any idea on where you're going to? put your next uh clamps of in course, or whatever. But i'm not telling anybody well what's the like largest geographical area what part of the country will be in the south southwest southeast where you are um, northwest somewhere like louisiana. seattle oh louisiana okay well that's pretty kind of specific there michelle let's not give them too much info you know people you, you don't, don't want to do something say something on accident How, have you been working have you been getting jobs and stuff yeah. And you still stream and can get money. Where do you stream at? Um, I haven't been streaming in like forever. Well, if I come, we're going to do some streaming, right? Sure. Do you have a PayPal still, Michelle? <laughs> hey, do, here comes the business talk. Do what? I, oh, I was just joking. I was saying, do you still have a PayPal account or did they get you banned on that? What's up, Lisa G? Yeah, still my What's up, account. Kelly? I hit my rumble. Uh, not a rumble. No, I think we're breaking up. Your signal's kind of choppy. But I said, do you have your PayPal account still? Are you still a member of PayPal? Yeah, of course I still have my PayPal account. Because I know I told you, I told you from the beginning. If we ever met and we did those kind of donations where people could make a, a thing interrupt and talk to us, we could make a lot of money, like two bucks or three bucks at a pop. Yeah. So, but the reason I don't use that. That will, so we'll set it up to where all those go to your PayPal account and you can just give me a little portion. You'll be like my boss while I'm there. And then you got a cash app. Is that like what you ask your friends to help you on if you're uh, trying to get something funded or sponsored? Yeah, I've got cash app. I've got them. I want to have PayPal. Let me put you on solo layout for a second. Let's see. They said that you were lying. I'm never going to come and see you. Or that last time you said that uh, something or other. But what was it? We'll see. You. You're welcome here. What do you guys think? Chad, it's 176 people. How does Rumble streaming go for you? Huh? Right. I'm welcome. I want to come, all right? Doing good. I've got um, subscriptions. So all I got to do, I said I'm going to. So, so you'll just have to tell me all about it when I get there. It'll down. just be me and you, right? I don't really want to meet any of your male buddies. Come on down. I don't want to meet any of the... Okay. I don't want to meet Etienne, though. Can we agree ahead of time that that's not... I'm not at no time will I ever meet Etienne? No, you won't meet Etienne. I got caught in mouth. <laughs> All right. Because one time I prank... <laughs> at least you're not driving. Good job. Congratulations. I'm happy you did Nobody that. Nobody believes me, but I, mean, I quit drinking. How do you feel? And how long ago was the last time you drank? Um, December 10th. Oh, good job. It's been like almost two months. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. we smoke weed? What's a, so what's the legal? Weed. Um, so I haven't. I haven't bought weed since February 10th of last year. And Two years, so one whole year on weed, no weed. Huh? You said you haven't bought no weed in a whole year? Almost a year, yeah. 
Wow, you know how much money you save? Don't even ask me how much money I spent in a year on weed. I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, I haven't. And then I smoked in June of last year, like three times in a week, and that's it. Did, did you get super high like I am right now? I'm high as a damn satellite. Yeah, I was pretty fucked up. <laughs> I'm out here in a in a forty degree uh, like back room or something. I'm kind of cold, but I'm high as hell, so I don't care. They said you were wasted, allegedly, double allegedly. On I've heard about you a couple times on your arch nemesis's show, JJJ. Yeah, they said I was wasted last Wednesday, and I wasn't. I had a really, really bad day on Wednesday, and I was on Xanax, which I have a prescription for. And you got to be careful wasted. because they're, Michelle, you got to be careful because you might get fake pills. Don't be on Xanax. It's a prescription. You get it from a pharmacy? Yeah, or a sweet pharmacy. You don't want to get no pressed up fake Xanax. People get those and they get they can die. Nothing no, to joke around about. And I took Xanax, so they were like, "Ah, you're fucked up." No, I wasn't. Where were you at? Your house, right there, chilling. Huh? Like, do you do you still do cooking shows and stuff? Like, what's your theme over there? Is it just IRL, like day to day? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna start like. What's your plan today? today I guess channel for a while because um, I'm trying to stay sober and I get triggered. Okay. But yeah, I mean, well, I did you give up on I'm YouTube? Start cooking so, in like a week or two. I haven't really been streaming. Okay. That's what I'm asking. That's kind of cool. I'm getting a. I'm getting an exclusive. November twenty third. Yeah, I, the last time I streamed on my channel was December twenty third. Wow, that is an exclusive we got here. It's going to be more of an exclusive when I show up. So make sure you got a good PayPal in place, Michelle, because we're going to make a, at least like $500 watch. And then we'll just my split PayPal's it. My fine. My PayPal's straight. Everything's straight. Okay. I'm Because, you know, I'm high as hell. I'm going to forget what I told you. But I'm driving that way because there's a lot of other friends there. Have you ever made? So maybe you, I, and Valley Girl can all hang out. What's yours and her situation? Are you guys friends? or? Nah, I haven't spoke to her. No. Nah, she's my no, friend. No. Shout out. Huh? I did. Yeah, I didn't know if you got. She maybe we could go like all three meet somewhere in the public with you guys. Bring a dog, and I'll adopt a dog or something fun. We'll do a wholesome thing. Adopt a dog? No. <laughs> or save them, whatever it's called. Rescue them. Maybe. Like how did your dogs are expensive? I don't need one like Jake or or. Uh, Lola, I don't need a two the twenty thousand dollar trained a, dog. Jake was a rescue dog. Oh, didn't but doesn't it cost a lot of money to train them to be a, a service pet or is that not a deal? Jake was a shelter dog. I fostered Jake and I fell in love with him. Which one's the rescue one that's trained to make Lola? you not Yeah, it's like she's your service or whatever, uh yeah, according to ATN, she's not. Um, ATN and I had a huge falling out. We're not even speaking. We're probably going what back to court. Over got, like um, the whole deal. I got some emails and some text messages dumped on me. Let me. Uh, can I? Can I adopt Jake? Rescue Jake from you? Like borrow no, him? No, Jake's not going anywhere. All right. Sorry. My bad. Go ahead. Though. What were you gonna say? What's going yeah, on? So I got some, I don't want to spread too much, but I got some text messages dumped on me and some emails that ATN was doing some shady shit during our divorce. Yeah. Oh, wow. Some real shady shit. Say on a scale of one to a hundred, how uh, dark and shady, like 99? Pretty high up there. <laughs> Well, Pretty like infidelity, you mean? Like, are you talking about adultery? Like he's womanizing or something? Like, what do you, or is it a money no, thing? No, no, no. I can't really talk about it. Okay, I'll let you go on that one. I'll let you off or whatever. Let you off the Yeah. Um, he was just speaking to some people on YouTube during our divorce and doing some real shady shit. Laura De Laguna. Laura De Laguna ring a name. Does that name ring a bell? Laura. No, it had nothing Lauren. to do with Come on now. I think him and Lauren had, had a, been a little bit of a online thing. Yeah, it had nothing to do with Lauren. It, um, it has to do with bot. 
and oh bot no oh, i i never was able to become like a friendly terms with bot i just i don't like her I, she's such like a female new jersey courts they just remind me of two gremlins two little trolls yeah it had to i hate that word but but <laughs> thank you what's up jersey but he was getting anyway, intel what's Adam, all this um, i'm gonna go ahead because i want you to visit with everybody else all but, right um, thanks for joining I will send my I send my email or email me your number. We'll get in touch, baby. I'll be over there. Yeah, you changed your number, obviously. I only have a text now number. I got scammed, Michelle. I bought a phone for a year from my friend for three hundred dollars, and it turned off after a month while I was in jail. So shouldn't the phone have just paid itself all the way through? Because they I told me that. It... Number and some chick answered. Oh really? Did she know who I was? No, I I called your old number. I'm like, hey, I was like a ski there. And she's like, you have the wrong number. <laughs> good. I don't know who that is, but good. You had the wrong number. I don't either. No, I don't Maybe want butt bot to gum me. Ugh, bliss. That's disgusting. Gum what? me. My friend in the chat said that I wanted bot to give me a gummy, like to gum me, which sounds disgusting. That's disgusting. Uh, it doesn't even sound pleasant. It sounds painful and vomit inducing. You have my number, don't you? I know the area code. I could, I think I do actually. I, I think I might, but you should uh, email me at Andy Ski Mask and I'll save it to my Google contacts. I only had Ski time. Mask at Gmail? Yeah, yep. Right. Andy Ski Mask. What's up, Julie? Right. Yeah, you got Michelle join back right. here in a little bit if you face. want. Hey, thanks for chatting. I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye, babe. Bye. Michelle goes live. What's up, everybody? Julie in the building. It's pretty chilly where I'm at. Turn the radio back up in a second. What's up, everybody? What's up, Let Them? I put the link in the chat a couple of times. That's our old buddy, Michelle, right there. So, guys, my car runs. I am going on a road trip. I'm not procrastinating or lollygagging or flim-flamming or anything of that sort atm wants a bot to gun them i got you bliss <laughs> sorry yeah i don't want no i didn't want her to gun me i know that dang much <laughs> i like my artwork back here rule of thirds this is good right there What's up, everybody? Michelle fell apart while you've been away. She looked like she's still maintaining herself a little little bit. What's up there, though, Big Helmcat? I don't, there's no reason for me to be live on this channel, but basically my main channel had got 